I'm out here in the rain. I mean, I'm under an umbrella. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not getting rained on, but that's just to protect my phone. Oh, that's probably not a good sign right there. Yikes. <laughs> um, I can't fathom having to leave this soon, you know? Mom's trying to delay it. We're gonna delay it as much as possible. She says we should go up and paint this weekend. Uh, but really, I just can't get my head around it. It's like now that it's like actually closing in and probably about to happen, suddenly it's like I can't deal with it. Like physically, I get, I think about it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's happening. Not, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't feel real. I don't know why there's an empty water jug down there, but I haven't questioned it yet. So I don't know. I, I just can't stand it. I can't stand the thought. This walkway to the back gate. I used to have this like long metal stick pole thing that I would play with as a kid, which I still like playing with stuff like that. <laughs> And I would, uh, I would walk up and down there and kind of mutter to myself because I was playing games in my head but also didn't want to be loud enough for the neighbors to hear me, so I was trying to be inconspicuous or didn't want my parents seeing me through the window thinking I was some kind of dumbass even though, you know, those were bedroom windows and this is a- oh! That's a spider web! This is a kitchen window. Um, I'll do that and then, you know, the swing set was right there. Right where my finger was. Right where that little- line of the hill is and of course the tree and so I would swing and then right here over the tip of my finger is in front of the stump there was a sandbox and I'd play in the sandbox and I would like decorate the swing set with this weird yellow stringy stuff that I think I got off of like pom poms or something like that I don't know it was just a lot of fun but I remember playing with the hose up here I remember talking on the phone on the swing set that, that whole section right here we would put a pool up in the summer right in front of the swing set and it would uh so because they had actually dug the dirt there and that's why it looks funny my mom had dug all of that out and put the pool there so that's why the dirt all the grass has grown back as you can see but for years it was just a big square of dirt <laughs> and then we'd play in that and my cousin and I would play and friends would play are you a weenie pants why don't you come out chase this water? If you were smart enough to stand under the umbrella, you could appreciate this, but you're a dog. Dogs don't you know, dogs just exist. They, they they're a living appreciation of the environment. So And then like this guy, or er, neighbor dude. Always in the field, always mowing, always burning something, always doing something. And he kinda just ignored me. We just kind of ignored each other and I appreciated that but I've always appreciated his company and I, I can't imagine him not being my neighbor it's just really weird um I just can't imagine not seeing this all the time I'm putting in a, a privacy fence up there it looks real good um well it will <laughs> so yeah it's just hard to imagine life any other way all this Yard work and all. And then there's the house spirits. I don't know how I'm supposed to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>